We are having a Christmas movie night with the Glam Plan fam. We had a Halloween party too, and it was very fun. Did you guys like it? I dressed up as yes. a flamingo. I forget what I was. You worked Halloween. Bro. We worked all day. Did you guys work hard? Yeah, I Did worked you? hard every day. Sorry. This isn't the whole team, and you'll notice a remarkable lack of Akira presence. But these are the girls that could make it. Peacone isn't moving. Peacone? The glam plan party is ending and I am so tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm trying to sleep and this one here is dancing with the cats. Saturday and the team does not work on the weekends but I am going to work because I'm going to Tennessee in two days and I have a lot of orders and designing stuff and just all sorts of stuff that I need to get through so this is my little corner desk it's from Ikea I love it I have some lolly and pops that I was quality controlling last night before the glam planner party and I have this cute lamp from Target each girl has the same lamp and yeah, so I'm just gonna get to work. This is my desk setup for filling orders. I have a big computer that I have a movie on. I'm currently watching Twilight. And then I have my laptop that has Facebook or Etsy open and then my label printer. And then here I have a lamp and some accordions, a coffee, some extra labels and a printer. And then there's a desk in the middle that I just put piles of whatever I'm currently filling. And I've already done a ton of orders, which is why these piles are sparse. And then down there is a second desk that I use on the weekends and Kim uses during the week. And I am just going to put all the orders that need to actually be packaged in the rigid mailers over there. So I'm filling them and printing the labels over here. And then I'm putting them all over there and I'll switch to that desk and package all of the individual orders once I'm done. So yeah, on the weekends I use all of this space because it just requires, like there's just a lot of piles going on and in order to stay organized I find that I kind of have to do that and then on this side there are these shelves that I just keep um, more things that I'm filling like more piles so these are all kits that have sold that I need to ship out which is why they're over here and if I have kits that are made but haven't actually been sold yet then they hang out over on these shelves I'm being careful not to pan too far because I have two more of these bookshelves covered in printers if I pan a little bit further and printers are a trade secret so this is where we keep everything that's been made. A lot of these are pre-sales that are in progress that we haven't completed all of the production of yet or kits that we are getting ready to sell hang out over there. So I only pull it over to like my desk section when I'm ready to like actually put the orders together and get them out. <laughs> I got all of these orders done. These are like bulk orders and then these are individual orders in the accordions over here. And now I'm going to do some mock spreads in my designing planner. These are my two Valentine's Day collections that are up for pre-order right now. This one is called Sex Kitten, as you can see. And these are the full boxes. I love the quote. It's a little bit like PG-13 rated. I also love like the Patron down here. It's kind of, you know, a little bit racier. It'd be good for the Fifty Shades of Grey second movie, Fifty Shades Darker premiere. And then this one's Glitter Bomb and it's just like super traditionally Valentine's Day. Just like really bright, really fun, very glittery. And so I'm going to do mock spreads on both of them. And the Facebook group is having a Christmas movie party tonight where we're all gonna watch a movie at the same time. And the movie that won is The Santa Claus, which I just literally watched the other night, but I'm gonna watch it again with them because that is the movie that won. The spread for Glitter Bomb is now complete. What do you guys think about it? I absolutely love it. Like this is so pretty for Valentine's Day. It's so traditional in the colors, but like so fun with the glitter. I feel moving and stuff down here. Wasi? Wasi, what are you doing down there, honey? Oh my gosh. Alex and I are being bad and we ordered B-dubs, Buffalo Wild Wings for dinner. I actually, we've actually never ordered this to go and I've only ever eaten it in college. Like I haven't eaten this since college. Dinner is served. Dinner is served. Do it. Woo! So we got like a bunch of just really unhealthy fried stuff. We're just gonna share everything. So I mean. Are you excited? Sorry, not sorry. Sorry, not sorry. This is Washi's favorite ball. Let's see him go. <laughs> Wazzy. 
Bring it back, Wassie. Yeah, bring, bring it back. Good job, Wassie. <laughs> Wassie. Get it, Wassie. Bring it back to us, Wassie. <laughs> bring it back, Wassie. He's so cute. Wassie, oh, good job! Good job, bring it back! Bring it back, Wassie. Okay. He likes to chase it when he drops it for himself like that. See how it kind of wiggles around? Go get it, Wassie. Oh. <laughs> okay, are you done? Are you worn out? That's a CB Wassie! You did that too many times, huh, Wassie? You said one too many runs and now I'm exhausted and I'm gonna lay here like a lion. Good night. The girls thought this G was for glam planner, <laughs> not Goot. Your world doesn't revolve around us.